Question. Which of the following is a responsibility of the coordinator of fire safety and alarm systems in homeless shelters? A. Perform repairs on fire alarm systems. B. Install new sprinkler systems. C. Maintain inspection records for three years. D. Modify fire alarm components. The correct answer is C. Maintain inspection records for three years. Explanation. Coordinators must maintain records for three years from the last entry and make them available for fire department inspection. Question. How frequently should fire drills be conducted in homeless shelters? A. Every three months on each shift. B. Monthly on each shift. C. Twice per year on each shift. D. Annually on each shift. The correct answer is B. Monthly on each shift. Explanation. Per FDNY requirements, drills in homeless shelters must be conducted monthly on each work shift. Question. During a fire drill, which of these is not required? A. Recording the start time. B. Full building evacuation. C. Documenting staff participation. D. Testing the fire alarm system. The correct answer is B. Full building evacuation. Explanation. Full evacuation during drills is not required as long as occupants are familiarized with evacuation procedures. Question. What is a quick check of portable fire extinguishers? A. Annual testing by certified personnel. B. Monthly visual inspection by staff. C. Weekly pressure gauge reading. D. Daily location verification. The correct answer is B. Monthly visual inspection by staff. Explanation. A quick check is a monthly visual inspection to verify the extinguisher's condition and placement. Question. Which statement about lithium-ion battery fires is correct? A. Water will always extinguish them. B. Standard extinguishers are effective. C. They cannot reignite after extinction. D. They may reignite hours later. The correct answer is D. They may reignite hours later. Explanation. Lithium-ion batteries can unexpectedly reignite minutes, hours, or even days after the visible fire is extinguished. Question. How often must elevators be tested for phase 1 recall? A. Weekly. B. Monthly. C. Quarterly. D. Annually. The correct answer is B. Monthly. Explanation. All elevators must be subjected to a phase 1 recall test at least monthly. Question. What should the coordinator do if discovering an impairment? A. Repair it themselves immediately. B. Wait 24 hours before reporting. C. Notify the impairment coordinator. D. Close the building temporarily. The correct answer is C. Notify the impairment coordinator. Explanation. The coordinator must immediately notify the impairment coordinator of any system impairments. Question. How high should portable fire extinguishers weighing under 40 pounds be mounted? A. No more than 5 feet high. B. No more than 3.5 feet high. C. No more than 6 feet high. D. No more than 4 feet high. The correct answer is A. No more than 5 feet high. Explanation. Fire extinguishers weighing 40 pounds or less must be installed so the top is not more than 5 feet above the floor. Question. What constitutes an unnecessary alarm? A. Equipment malfunction activation. B. System testing without notification. C. Design system response. D. Accidental manual pull. The correct answer is C. Design system response. Explanation. An unnecessary alarm occurs when the system functions as designed but fire department response was not needed. Question. Who can perform maintenance on a central station transmitter? A. Any certified technician. B. The coordinator. C. Building maintenance staff. D. Only authorized companies. The correct answer is D. Only authorized companies. Explanation. Only FDNY approved central station companies can perform repairs or maintenance on transmitters. Question. What is required in buildings temporarily used as emergency shelters for more than 15 persons? A. Weekly fire drills. B. Fire command center. C. One-way voice communication system. D. Two-way radio system. The correct answer is C. One-way voice communication system. Explanation. Buildings temporarily used as emergency shelters must have an approved one-way voice communication system capable of making announcements from the fire command center.
Question. What must be done before conducting a fire drill? A. Contact local fire station. B. Take system offline with central station. C. Evacuate the first floor. D. Disable all manual pole stations. The correct answer is B. Take system offline with central station. Explanation. Before conducting a drill, the system must be taken offline with the central station to prevent unnecessary fire department response. Question. How many fire guards should patrol an area of 100,000 square feet? A. One fire guard. B. Two fire guards. C. Three fire guards. D. For fire guards. The correct answer is B. Two fire guards. Explanation. No individual fire guard should patrol more than 50,000 square feet of building floor area. So 100,000 square feet requires two fire guards. Question. When must the emergency preparedness plan be reviewed? A. Every six months minimum. B. Every year minimum. C. Every two years minimum. D. Every three years minimum. The correct answer is B. Every year minimum. Explanation. Emergency preparedness plans must be reviewed and updated at minimum once a year. Question. What is not a proper action for charging lithium-ion batteries? A. Using manufacturer's charger. B. Charging overnight unattended. C. Plugging directly into wall outlet. D. Keeping away from flammables. The correct answer is B. Charging overnight unattended. Explanation. Lithium-ion batteries should never be left charging overnight unattended as this creates a fire hazard. Question. How often should portable fire extinguishers be serviced by AW96 certificate holder? A. Monthly. B. Quarterly. C. Semi-annually. D. Annually. The correct answer is D. Annually. Explanation. Portable fire extinguishers must be checked at least annually by W96 Certificate of Fitness Holder from an FDNY-approved company. Question. What should be done when a sprinkler head has been painted over? A. Clean the paint off. B. Test the sprinkler head. C. Replace the sprinkler head. D. Document the condition. The correct answer is C. Replace the sprinkler head. Explanation. Painted sprinkler heads must be replaced immediately as paint can prevent proper operation. Question. How often must fire guards patrol their assigned areas? A. Every 30 minutes. B. Every hour. C. Every 2 hours. D. Every 4 hours. The correct answer is B. Every hour. Explanation. Fire guards must patrol their assigned areas at least once every hour. Download questions cover all topics and chapters of F. 80 Coordinator of Fire Safety and Alarm System in Homeless Shelters. Download link below. Question. What records must be kept regarding CPR qualified staff? A. Training certificates only. B. Work schedules only. C. Identity and location information. D. Annual performance reviews. The correct answer is C. Identity and location information. Explanation. The emergency preparedness plan must include the identity and location of CPR qualified staff and how to contact them. Question. What is required when charging more than five personal mobility devices? A. Direct supervision. B. Dedicated charging room. C. Outdoor charging area. D. Individual circuit breakers. The correct answer is B. Dedicated charging room. Explanation. When charging more than five personal mobility devices, a dedicated room with ventilation and a self-closing door is required.